Hi, it's Tyrone Chum from OutsourcingLive.com and welcome to the dedicated channel where I teach you about how to outsource your videos. Now, a very common question that people are always, always asking is what camera shall I use? Because once you've recorded your content like what I'm doing right now, you're going to have to send it over to your video editor. So what is it that's really, really quick and easy and also what is very efficient to be able to get across to there? There's really two options. One is to use a very basic camera for people who are on a budget, which I'm going to share with you shortly. Or two, use a little bit more advanced camera, which is the current one that I'm using right now to record on. And both is really dependent on your budget and also depending on the quality of the video that you want to get out there. Obviously, the more you pay for a particular camera, the better the quality you're going to get. But uh, it won't break an arm and a leg. All right, so the first one that I've been using for quite some time uh, before I actually upgraded to this camera that I'm currently recording on is the Kodak ZIA camera. This is a very nice, very thin and very light camera that I've been using and I had a 32 gigabyte card in here to be able to record all my high definition videos. Now the reason why this is a great camera is one, it has an external microphone which you can just plug in onto the side right over here. I don't know if you can see it actually right here, but basically you just plug in the condenser mic, which is, I'm going to talk a little bit more about that, but plug that straight in, mount it onto a tripod, and then hit the remote to record it, well, if you get a separate remote, and you're up and away. And that's exactly what I did for quite a long time. You had a look at a lot of my videos. I had at least about almost 100 videos I recorded using the Kodak ZIA camera. And it's a great camera because it records in high definition and the video files are quite small in comparison. So that's, that's what I would recommend. I know there's a lot of other people who, who also recommend the Flip Mino, but unfortunately the Flip Mino doesn't have any of the external mic plug-in unless you want to spend extra money. But this is a really good budget, my, uh, budget camera that you can pick up. You can buy it from Amazon or eBay or anywhere like that. And I'll make sure I put a link down below so that way you can check it out directly. Now that one's very good because you can upload easily and send it over to your video editor and he'll be able to do it straight away. Now the second option which is a little bit more advanced and also too it records very very high quality and you can see just from the recording is called the Canon T3i Rebel. And I'm not going to take the credit that I found this. This was actually recommended to me by my good friend Gideon Shawick from GideonShawick.com. And he uses a little bit uh, more advanced camera, which is the next model up. But for me, I'm happy with this one because this one has been really focused on allowing for me to record videos. And just again, it does have an external mic. So the great thing is I can plug this mic that I've got right now clipped on me straight into the camera and start to share with you. So what I'll do is I'll put the link below, but it's called the Canon T3i Rebel, um, which is a, a SLR camera and it allows you to be able to record well, videos up to at least, I think, 12 minutes or so. And then after that, you can uh, edit it from there. All right, so yeah, these are really the two cameras that I highly recommend. Make sure that whenever you're getting a camera, you also get a lapel mic, which is what I'm currently holding right now. You can sort of see it on me. But basically, it's just a mic that just clips onto you and you plug it straight into your camera and it, it gives you a much, much better quality of sound. And you can pick up these for like $30 or so from like Dick Smith or Tandy Store, and that's what I've done. Okay, so yeah, hopefully this video has helped you there. If you've got any further questions, feel free to leave your comments down below and I'll be more than happy to answer them. But these are one of the two cameras that, uh, that I've been using for quite some time and I, <laughs> I cannot just, yeah, I can't say how great they are because they're just brilliant. So give it a go, check it out and let me know what you think. All right, thanks very much for watching this. My name is Tyrone Shum from Outsourcing Live, and remember, just outsource it. Take a minute to check out our website at http colon forward slash forward slash outsourcinglive.com. You'll find step-by-step how-to videos, tricks, tips, and case studies helping you to outsource your videos. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter for free video course and special offers.